First thing we're going to do, uh, while we're at the front of the bus, rather than going into the back to start with, I know some of you will be like, eh, just get straight in the back, undo all the bolts, yeah, why is it not coming off? Underneath this panel here, which I'm just going to dash on the floor, is one, two, three, four torque screws. Now what you want to do to start with is to take them out. So when you've done all the bolts in the inside the van, which we're going to go and do in a second, you'll be able to remove the first top bit without having to climb back into the front. So you might as well start in the front. So speed jobs up. Um, I've got one of these um, impact drivers. Now we'll see if you're sensible with it, then you won't damage things and stuff. But I'm using a 30 Torx bit, and I'm just gonna whip these out. There's four in total. Keep hold of them, put them somewhere safe. They actually might be along the road, handy for somewhere else, you never know. Now we can get in the back of the van and undo all of the 10 mil bolts. The next step is in the back of the van and what you'll notice there is a few uh, 10 mil bolt heads all the way around the back of this panel. We're going to release just the top ones first and then we'll be able to remove this. remove the ones that are inside the cab. If you take it from the bottom end, <laughs> yeah, that's the top bit. Now we can do the same again around the bottom area. Some people are happy with just that, but what we're going to do is remove all of these metal panels around the outside. So now we're going to remove the brackets that actually hold the bulkhead in place. Um, to make your life a lot easier, uh, what I suggest you do is remove the passenger seat because you, you can't slide it forward. Slide the driver's seat as far forward as you can and sort of tilt it right over and then take the side plastic trims off. If you haven't done that already, it is quite straightforward. Make sure you remove your seat belt. So this bit here is an M10 piece. Gently start at the top and you'll be able to pop it out. Now obviously if you've broken a couple of the white clips that hold it in place, then they are available online and stuff like that. And then the same with the bottom one, give it a tug out. You may need to open the door slightly and then just release it from that side too. I'm gonna to start with these top brackets and they're held on with three 10 mil bolts. So once you've undone all of them, you'll be able to remove the top bracket. You need to start with the top bit. Whoops, because it slightly overlaps the bit below it and, and so on. So you can't just start at the bottom, you need to start at your top and work your way down. For the lower bracket, before you get to the one that's on the floor, um, it's a little bit more tricky and you need a couple more tools. So what I've got is a drill with a metal drill bit. Um, it's the biggest drill bit, I think it's 10 mil that I could find. Uh, I could probably do with a 12 perhaps even if, if they do a 12. And you're basically gonna to wanna to try and drill out the old welding point. Don't panic if you drill into your van. This is one of the pillars. There is already holes and bits and bobs in it. I'm not saying just drill it out. Don't panic if you do drill through. When you get down to the one that's near the seat belt, you need to be really careful you don't drill for it. So start at the top, 
get a little bit of practice first and work your way down. And then, the likelihood is, you're gonna need one of these bad boys, chisel, and my favorite tool, a hammer. Let's crack on. So I've got a last little bit. Let me bring you in and show you. I've got a last little bit just tucked in there that I'm just gonna drill out a tiny bit and then I'll be able to prise it off. more to go. There we go. Right, let's move on to the bottom one. Now this one is a little bit tricky. Um, and there is a little bit of an angle grinder involved. Locate where you're going to need to grind off and you'll see that there's gaps in between each grinding point. Using your chisel you're going to try and hammer it underneath next to where you're going to grind. Basically what that's done now is put a bit of stress on that join. When you go with the grinder now, you want to cut along that join a few times, go back to your um, chisel and just slightly bend this up and keep going until you've got completely through. Just a little bit at a time. You don't want to go through the main floor of the van. Okay, you can see now that I've pierced through just there. So now all you need to do is trim that piece and that piece and then you'll be able to break it away, flatten that back down again and move on to the next one. This last one literally just using the chisel a little bit of bending back and forth and the chisel and she's off I'm going to tidy up. So that's it guys, um, the bulkhead is out and all of the brackets and what have you have been removed whether it's with a grinder or a spanner or what have you. Um, I guess perhaps maybe I could have done it a little different. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to have your opinions on that yourselves which is fine. Um, at the end of the day we're all still learning if you're watching a YouTube video you're obviously not quite sure how to do it yourself um, hence why I guess I'm making some videos to try and help some of you lot out um, I've noticed straight away having done that um, I've taken out the double seat and I've also taken out the single seat 
and I've lifted the carpet up because I've sound deadened and I've run my cables and stuff in which we'll see in another video but perhaps after taking all the seats and the carpet up then might be a good time I guess for some of you that are not so confident maybe with an angle grinder or what have you um, to take it out then because it proves to be perhaps maybe a little bit easier anyway um, this is Tom this is T-Dubs this is a series dedicated to the black beauty um, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank <laughs> you.